cholesterol is a steroid, which among other things is incorporated into every cell membrane in the human body. Cholesterol can also then be converted into other steroids, which may serve as hormones. Some of these are androgens, which are often associated with male sexual differentiation. But while androgens might be associated with the testes, they can also be produced in other regions of the body. For example, the ovaries make androgens such as testosterone as precursors to estrogen. Also, there are glands which rest above the kidneys known as adrenal glands. And adrenal glands make a number of steroid hormones which function as androgens. Dehydroepiandrosterone, or DHEA, can be synthesized in some tissues, like the gonads and the brain, and used there. Or it can be secreted as a circulating hormone from the adrenal glands. As such, it can travel freely through the plasma, or bound to the plasma protein albumin, or the protein sex hormone binding globulin. Dehydroepiandrosterone, or DHEA, acts as both a weak estrogen and a weak androgen in that it can directly bind to estrogen receptors and androgen receptors. However, DHEA can also be taken up by cells and then converted into testosterone or estradiol which obviously very strongly bind to androgen and estrogen receptors. A sulfate group can be added to DHEA, um, which allows it to last longer and be transported differently through plasma, binding to albumin better, although it is not a hormone unless the sulfate is later removed, but it can function as a neurosteroid in the brain. DHEA in the sulfated form are the most abundant steroids in circulation, Levels increase in late childhood, uh, decline later in life, and in general are higher in males than in females. From DHEA, a number of other adrenal androgens are made, such as androstenediol, which is both a weak androgen and weak estrogen, binding both androgen and estrogen receptors, and an intermediate in testosterone synthesis, and androstenedione, which is a weak androgen produced by both adrenal glands and the gonads. It is an intermediate in both testosterone and estrone synthesis. And in older women, this adrenal androgen is more important given that the ovaries production of androstenedione decreases after menopause. The adrenal androgens, DHEA, androstenediol, and androstenedione, um, are produced in late childhood, causing adrenarch, the hormonal changes of early puberty, which precede the changes caused by the gonadal hormones. These changes include hair growth, the change in body odor from apocrine sweat glands, the growth spurt, and the change of behavior and mood, which is associated with early puberty. Overproduction results in few effects in men, but uh, overproduction in teens can result in precocious puberty and diverse effects in women and female teens, ranging from infertility, loss of menstruation, to a male pattern of hair growth, male pattern baldness later in life, and an overproduction of adrenal androgens has been associated with changes in mood, such as aggression or sex drive, in adolescent girls and women um, to conditions which are more typically associated with men.